Shina nature lovers. That's Swedish for hello, by the way. Your friend in Bali here. So what do you think? I'm a really huge fan of Greta Thunberg. As a teenager, she's doing so many inspiring things to save our world. So to celebrate World Environment Day, I thought I'd dress up and play my part as well. But seriously, nature lovers, the earth needs our help. Climate change, loss of nature, and deadly pollution all threaten our planet, our species, and the ecosystems these species call home. On World Environment Day, businesses, governments, and citizens around the world are coming together in one movement to help prevent, stop, and reverse ecosystem degradation. Restoring ecosystems is going to be a big task. But a big task is made smaller if more people tackle it, which is why I've decided to join Hashtag Generation Restoration right now to rebuild nature for the sake of our future. So what is ecosystem restoration? It's a way of protecting biodiversity and breathing new life into ecosystems. It means using ecosystems on land and in our waterways to strengthen natural resources, preventing further losses, reduction and degradation. Restoration can include planting trees, cleaning rivers or lakes, protecting important landscapes or indigenous species. It's all about creating the right conditions for nature to thrive. A job this big can't be done alone. We need help and to help each other. So to help me, I've called on a few friends to see how they're using ecosystem restoration to save our planet. And what's a special day without feeling special, right? Commence global update. Gaia, that's Greek for Earth. Systems online. Update complete. At your service, Mobali. Nice. I could get used to this. Gaia, initiate sync with conservationist Phil McLean. Initiating. Phil's a well-known conservationist who's helping lead the improvement of the Berg River. Hey, at Fainbos Phil. How's my favorite tweeting botanist? Hey, Mbali. Just keeping my hands dirty. <laughs> As you do. You and your team are doing amazing work at the Berg River. Could you help explain that work a little more for the kids watching? Sure thing, Mbali. Our job is to make the environment better by improving what nature does for us, like how rivers provide clean drinking water. We're looking at one river in particular right now, the Berg River. It's full of invasive alien trees that don't grow naturally in the area. Sounds like they need to leaf the area immediately. <laughs> yeah, but seriously in Bali, it's a big problem because these trees suck more water than other plants and they grow in thick, dense stands, reducing natural biodiversity. They can even change the course of the river and the way that water moves through the landscape, making floods and droughts far worse. Oh no, sounds like we need to stem the tide on this, Phil. Right you are, Mbali. We're doing this as part of a two-step process. First, we're removing the invasive trees. Then we're planting locally, also known as indigenous plants, from seeds sourced from the same river. This is called active rehabilitation. I'll share a link that I tweeted about recently. Click like. What this does is reduce the ability of the invasive species to grow back and increases the biodiversity in the cleared area. After three years, a little bit of love and a lot of water, most of the plants are well established in the restored site. There's even a balance between the trees, shrubs and small plants, with each contributing to the ecosystem by helping the river flow and by supporting the life that helps to keep it healthy and clean. Now that's a great balancing act. Are you hoping the restorative work you're doing will continue into the future? Very much so, Mbali. Entering into the UN's Decade of Restoration, we're especially excited because we've been busy with our sites for nearly 10 years already. We've learned so much about what works and what doesn't work, so we're ready to scale up the re rehabilitation to much larger sections of the river. Unfortunately, I've got to run. Well, Wade, should I say? It was really nice catching up and connecting with you. It really was. Catch you out on the trails, Phil. Keep conserving. Bye. Wow, I even feel a little restored after that. Me too. But nature lovers, conservation never rests and neither should we. Gaia, now initiate sync with Tabiso Mukwena. Right away, Mabali. Initiating. T 
Tabiso is a field ranger out at Grunfle in Gokama in the Western Cape. Hey Tubbs, Mbali here. Oh hey Mbali, check it out. Another day out in the field. That's so beautiful. I know, right? Yep. So Tubbs, being World Environment Day, I thought we'd dial in and get a better sense of how you and the other rangers at Gokama are reeling in ecosystem restoration. <laughs> Sure thing, Bali. So Krumple is a coastal lake that sadly went from Krumple to Brenfle because of one alien invasive fish species in particular. The common carp has the ability to breed quickly and can cause habitat degradation through their feeding habits. They disturb the lake bottom, clouding the water, changing its color to brown, making it harder for other fish to find food in the dark. Carp a DM Tubs. How have you managed to respond to this threat? Thankfully, we've been lucky to partner with local volunteers who have helped us solve the problem by bringing the right skills and techniques. And? So far, since involving our partners in the community, over 16 tons of carp has been removed from the flay, and all for a good cause. With the help of the local municipality and other partners, the removed fish has been distributed to nearby communities who rely on the fish for, as a staple food source. Wow, that's unreal. So do you feel that your efforts in the Grunfle area will continue into the future? Most definitely. Not only is our work cleaning up the waterways, but it's also improving the lives of others. It's the best of both. And we could not be more focused on the change we can make over the next 10 years as part of the UN's Decade of Restoration. I'm hooked to be so. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Mbali. Bye. What a great guy. I know, Mbali. But fear not, one more site to go. Let's see, shall I? Hold on, here's an idea, Gaia. So far we've seen what sites are currently doing when it comes to ecosystem restoration, but what happens when you get it right? What does the impact of ecosystem restoration 10 years from now look like? Um, you tell me. Better yet, why doesn't Ruth Garland tell us? Ruth is the daughter of legendary South African conservationist, educator, and farmer Ian Garland. Gaia, initiate sync. At once. Initiating. Rerouting through Hong Kong to Victoria, Australia. Oh, yes. Ruth now lives in Australia, where she continues her conservation work. Good day, Ruth. Good day, Bali. What time is it? It's never too early to see you, Ruth. You're so sweet, Mbali. You know you need to come and visit. I'd love to, Ruth. But you know there's still lots of work to do. Work that I know is close to you and your family. Would you mind sharing some of it on such an important day? Of course, Mbali. My dad just loved nature. He grew up in the Mount Edgecombe region of KwaZulu-Natal and began farming along the coast south of Mtanzini. The twin streams you see today is his living legacy. The name comes from the Siaya and the Mandamnyama streams that flowed through his farm and created a natural paradise. I want to go to there. Yes, it's a truly special place. His enthusiasm was legendary for the local habitats and sharing this is what led him to establish South Africa's first environmental education center at Twin Streams. So what changed? Well, at the time, there was huge pressure from farming in the area, so he doubled his efforts and transformed Mix Park into a living laboratory. That's so amazing! And Twin Streams still exist today? It more than exists in Bali, it thrives. Dr. Garland planted over 80,000 indigenous trees and, through constant nurturing and rehabilitation over the years, transformed the area into sustainable coastal bush with over 600 bird species calling it their nest. That's so inspiring, Ruth. And if you had to share one piece of advice for the future generation of conservationists, what would that be? Well, my father understood that results are achieved through collaboration and teamwork. Even though there were ups and downs along the way, the vision of Twin Streams came to life because it always existed in his heart. It was his passion that made his dream a reality. We can all make a difference in this world wherever we are. We have to. And I can think of no better place to start than with the United Nations Decade of Restoration 
on World Environment Day. That's an idea I can grow with Ruth. I know it's getting late. Thank you for your time. Take care down under. Thank you, Mbali. And keep conserving. Bye. You too, Ruth. Bye. I want to go to there. Gaia. Sorry, Mbali. There you have it, nature lovers. One momentous day, three incredible stories showing what we can do and achieve. Today, as you head out into the world, don't forget the difference you can make in restoring the value of nature. Earth is our home and we don't have a planet B. Let's be hashtag generation restoration and keep conserving nature lovers. Hey door! That's Swedish for goodbye.